All right, guys, welcome to 362 Kim's Lane. Here's a view of the road that comes into the house. Again, amazing mountain views from here, a well-maintained dirt road. It's exactly 13 minutes into town, to the town of Breckenridge, that is. We'll take a cruise up here. A very quintessential mountain home. I like that all the deck, front and back, have been replaced with truck stacking. Take a look at the house. I love it when you walk in, you first get a look at the giant kitchen, open floor plan, with that gas fireplace, stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, the cabinets are in really good shape. Again, as you saw when we walked in, but that's real wood floors, in-floor radiant heating. I love how open the kitchen is and flows right into the living room and there's that fireplace again. Exposed wood beams and tons of light that came through here. And unfortunately today when we filmed this it was a little cloudy but well, you'll still get some good views here when we go outside. But let's take a look just off the main entrance. It's your quarter bath, powder room. It's nice that it's right on the main level right off the garage. I thought this was this next feature was kind of neat because I haven't seen this in a while, but you have a laundry chute right off the garage. So when you come home, it's easy to put your gear down there, not pile it up in the entryway, but a really nice garage. Even though it is a one car garage, there's tons of extra space and storage in there, vaulted ceilings, and it was heated. Another little storage space up here as well, but the cabinets were great. And as I spin around here, you'll see the storage closet um, off the back of the garage. I'll we'll take a cruise back in. Take a look at the main living area. What I really found great about this house is everything was in really nice shape. The doors looked almost brand new. The wood floors weren't scratched up. What I really loved about this main living area is all the windows, giant windows, tons of light that came through, and of course you get the amazing mountain views. Again, a very quintessential mountain home. I love these ceilings. You've got a nice dining area. Let's take a spin around here a little bit so you can kind of see what you're looking at through the dining area as well. Even on a cloudy day, great views. We're dealing with a lot of a lot of rainstorms coming through and smoke as well, so it's nice that we could still see out of the windows here. Again, the trim was in great shape as well. The fixtures, I like that they made a little breakfast bar out of the countertop here. Let's take a cruise outside and take a look at the deck. Again, all weather trucks decking. This is towards the front of the house. And you do get some space for your neighbors. I know you can see the deck from there, but you do get plenty of space to your neighbors there. It's a half acre lot, which is uh, very typical in this neighborhood. But tons of space on the deck. You really get a good mountain feel in here. Of course, septic in the backyard, as well as the leach field. It's nice to get a little buffer between your house and the trees. And again, just the mountain views from here are amazing. Looking back, and that's the, the second deck up top, balcony off the master. We'll cruise back in. Take another look coming in this, this entrance. You can see the balcony here inside the home. Nice little office space up there. Yeah, nice open floor plan. Let's take a cruise upstairs and we'll look at the master and that little lofted area that we were just talking about. As I stumble up the stairs here, we'll take a look. There's your master bedroom and here is the loft. 
Again, they have it set up, just what we were talking about, a little desk area, skylight coming through. Take a look down in the living room again, see what it looks like from up here. And we'll go check out the master. What I liked about this is the master is separated from the rest of the house. It's the only bedroom on the third floor. Vaulted ceilings, exposed beams. Again, you can tell this home was very well taken care of. And the master bath, these are the same granite slab that they use downstairs. A touch outdated, but honestly, everything looked very nice in there. Commode and as well as your tub and, and uh, double head shower. All right, let's take a cruise back out through the master bedroom and I'll show you this balcony that faces south, southeast. It would be an amazing spot to enjoy morning coffee, get your day started, looking out towards the dirt road in the entrance. And of course, the amazing mountain views. And I think that the video and pictures just don't give you justice of what it really is like. But take a look at this uh, master closet, pocket door. I thought that was kind of neat having a window looking over the living room. And then you can see the views from there as well. So it was kind of nice bringing extra light into the closet. But I thought it actually really good space in there. And we'll cruise down and take a look at the rest of the house. We'll go to the basement, take a look at the rec room, second living room, and the game room. A little second look at the heart of the home, and we'll cruise downstairs. A little den, sitting area. And then a patio door that goes off the back here, and I'll give you a look at what that looks like. Just a little concrete slab out there that leads to the backyard and underneath the deck. It's nice that you have the lower entrance. Nice space here. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. You have the laundry room, as well as a game room. We'll get to that. But as you can see, all the doors are in really good shape, and they're not just cheap, flimsy doors until they spent... Um, Spend time to put in quality trim, doors, for, even for the closets. And then you have the joining bathroom here in between the two guest rooms with a full a Jack and Jill set up with a full bath, shower. Both rooms were the same size. Thought they brought in plenty of light. Plenty of room for your guests. There's a low, and as you can see through that window, the lower entrance, stairs leading up to the deck. And if we remember from the laundry chute that I showed you off of the garage, here's the laundry room downstairs. What I noticed too about this home is that there's plenty of storage. It's kind of a unique setup downstairs as well. Kind of have a U shape here. Go into the gaming area, the pool table which comes with the home. Onto the TV setup, I think this would be a great spot for entertaining. Just have your guests hang out. Good spot for the family to hang out. But it's nice that they had windows throughout uh, the basement because it brings in plenty of light so you're not stuck uh, in a dark basement. But three quarter bath downstairs. And again, this home, I love that they did the in-floor radiant heat. You'll see the boiler room and utility room set up here, all the different zones. Cruise across here, it's kind of neat what they did. It used to be a closet and they kind of put it into like a, like a little kid's nook. I think you get creative with the spot as well, but they finish it off nicely. 
put a fun little space down here. And we will cruise back upstairs. Yeah, kind of a unique little area down here. I like how it's all separated, the two be two bedrooms and the two bathrooms downstairs as well. So plenty of options down there. Last little look at the heart of the home. Again, stainless steel appliances and the cabinets were in really good shape. The darker granite. Thanks so much for taking the tour, you guys. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you soon.